Hi guys, so today I'm going to show y'all a bunch of college outfits. Um, these will mostly be like going to class outfits. I think I'll show you one or two like going out outfits, but it will mostly be like going to class. So if you need inspo, this video is for you. Also, my hair, I didn't know what to do with it, like do bubbles or like braids, so it's just going to be in pigtails. So I'm just going to look like a child for the entirety of the video. So now we're going to open my closet and see what we can find. So this is outfit number one. And it's basically what a lot of people we will be wearing like the first two weeks of school basically. But right now since it's really, really hot outside, um, especially where I am, it's this is what people are gonna wear. Just workout sets, maybe like a jacket over, maybe a sweatshirt over, maybe a t-shirt over, stuff like that. Just so you're not dying, cause it's so hot, even though classrooms are a lot colder than it is outside, but that's what the jacket's for. So yeah, outfit number one. So this is another one that I thought would be really cute, but this is obviously more for maybe a colder day or something like that, because it, this is a sweater. It's literally just a black sweater. And then some denim big like shorts and like I would wear this with like cowboy cowgirl boots but I thought this was really cute it's also really comfy but yeah it's more for a colder day for sure so this is the kind of thing that I was talking about before but you can also put like a jacket over like a little sweatshirt if you get cold but yeah I feel like this is what most people and me <laughs> We'll be wearing like the first kind of week of class. So this is one of like the more basic going out kind of styles that a lot of people wear. It's basically leather pants and a tube top or like a corset top kind of is what this is. But yeah, it's just really comfy. And I don't think people would wear like leather pants kind of since it's still like a thousand degrees outside, but like definitely for when it's a little colder because right now I'm like already sweating in these pants and it's just not the move. So I probably would wear like shorts maybe with this outfit instead. But yeah, this is basically one of the basic go-to going out styles that a lot of people wear. But it's like really cute, so. And I would obviously wear it. So this is another way you can like wear an outfit, basically a long sleeve crop top with um, a bike of shorts. And it has pockets and it's comfy. Basically the key to any successful outfit in college is comfy because we're just not trying to do that much. Like who's trying to impress someone at 8 a.m. for a class? Nobody, definitely not me. I'm literally gonna be waking up, no makeup, put clothes on, leave. Especially in the winter time. In the winter time, all bets are off. Sweatshirts, sweatpants, all day, every day. So I put my hair up because the ponytails were just bothering me. Anyways, so this would be one of my like game day outfits, basically the colors of my school. So yeah, I got this shirt. It's really cute too, it's like different kind of. And then just white shorts. You can also wear this to class, I just wouldn't, since it's just, I just feel like it's more like of a game day look and I wouldn't wanna wear like my game day clothes to class or vice versa, so yeah. Little cute thing. And like, it can be like this basic basically for like a game day, like you don't have to fully like dress up. Like they dress up, but like no one's wearing like dresses. Like, t-shirt, jeans, stuff like that, dressing up. Really cute top. You can't go wrong with this outfit, basically. You're wearing the colors. You got it, you're good. This isn't another outfit, but I just wanted to show this top because I think it's so cute. It has like sparkles on it. Like it's just, it's adorable. But this is definitely for the Itty Bitty Tutti Committee, as in me, because like literally breathing, it's kind of like tight. It's like the perfect going out top. I think it's just adorable. And I got it on Amazon if anyone cares. But yeah, it's like, it's so cute. And it like zips up in the back. So you could wear it with these, you could wear it with leather pants, you could wear it with jeans, shorts, literally anything. A black top is something you can't go wrong with. So now just for some like advice, um, I would totally recommend a jean jacket and a leather jacket. I think these are really both great staples in any closet. I think everyone should get either or or both. Um, they're like my pride and joy. I definitely wear them in the fall and winter like a whole bunch. I would also recommend like corset tops because they're really in right now and you definitely can't go wrong with it and you will definitely get compliments on it. Um, anything with like sparkles like this, you would totally also get compliments on. 
I would say you don't need to limit like bringing workout clothes or like sweatpants and sweatshirts like bring all of those especially if you live in like a colder state because that's what you're going to be living in like that's what you're definitely going to need like the long sleeve shirts or like like t-shirts is something you might use for like one or two months and like that's it then you might bring that home for like summer you definitely don't need like all those tops they bring or like all those jeans i have a lot of jeans but i'm also like an instagram girly and i love taking pictures and i like creating outfits and stuff like that but you definitely don't have to i would say a black, a dark wash, and a light wash are perfectly fine. And leather pants, black leather pants, those are basically all you need. You really don't need anything else besides that. Shoe-wise, I would say invest in a good pair of tennis shoes. These are just on Amazon. These are like, um, not really a brand or anything, but they really do work and like they're good for my feet, so I just got them because they're white and I needed a white tennis shoe. I would also recommend cowgirl boots just because they're like leather. These are also off Amazon and they're really easy to clean. They're a good frat shoe. And so yeah, I would totally invest. They're also really cute in the fall and winter time. Again, this is basically advice for like colder state girls. Like if you're going to college in Florida, disregard all of this. I would also say bring a heel even if you're not like rushing or anything. Like I'm not rushing but I also like to dress up and like do all that stuff so I brought heels just in case like anything happens along with dresses I brought. I would also bring a shoe that one you don't wear a lot and two can get dirty and you really don't care. These are the ones that I brought because I haven't worn them since like 9th grade in high school um, and they're just like van slip on shoes and like these can get dirty and I really don't care as opposed to like my Converse's, which I absolutely adore. But Converse is also a really good shoe, but they're canvas, so it's difficult to wash them. All right, now I'm gonna show y'all one of my dresses because <laughs> it's so cute. So this is the dress that I got, and it's like super, super cute. But I think it would go for like any kind of like date party or maybe even like a sorority event, but maybe not, it might be a little scandalous for that, I don't know. But any like dress up event, like it's one shoulder and then it has like cinching kind of that you can like tie up or tie down and it's just really cute all the way around and it's like a black dress and I feel like you just can't go wrong with a black dress except for when you're going to a wedding maybe you don't do that this outfit I believe was in another video of mine but again it's really really cute and it would probably be something that I would wear out, like out like now just because it's so hot but um I would also recommend to anyone that has blue or green eyes, invest in blue or green tops because I think it brings out your eyes more. Like I have blue eyes, wearing a blue top, I think it like helps a lot. I think it's really pretty. That's just my opinion though, doesn't have to be true. This is really all the like kind of like advice and like clothing options basically in one video. And I know there's not like a lot in here, jeans will also get dirty. Um, because of the frats and stuff like if you're in like mud or dirt or grass or like stuff like that they're gonna get dirty like the bottom of your pants might so I would recommend maybe getting like a pair of jeans that you don't mind getting dirty because it might be really hard to clean those I brought all my socks and underwear so if anyone tells you like don't bring that many I brought all of them and then I, I like have so many so I would totally recommend bringing like all of that all of your like tiny summer like tops bring all of those your you want options that's really all the advice i have and i really don't have much more like outfits to show y'all because it's basically the same thing like leggings sweatshirts cute sets like basically all of that is what you're wearing to class basically and then like leather pants cute tops is what you're wearing to parties that's really all like the advice and kind of stuff that i have for y'all but i will be doing like more of a video for like college outfits but in like fall and winter so stay tuned for that because that will be so much better um, on popular opinion, I think fashion is so much better like in fall and winter just because there's more options. You can like layer, but in the summertime, this is what you have to wear because it's a thousand degrees. But anyway, stay tuned for that video, but I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!